Janis Joplin is an icon. Her voice, music, presence is timeless. Although her life was short, her music in essence lives on, most notably in Room 105. Janis spent her last days and last day in the Landmark Motor Hotel in Hollywood, which is now the Highland Gardens Hotel on October 4th, 1970, from an accidental overdose. For a special three-part episode of Ghost Town, we rented room 105. We spoke to the night clerk of the hotel about some of the strange occurrences that went on. And before we get into what may or may not have happened at the Landmark Motor Hotel, please consider subscribing and hitting the thumbs up on this video. We're going to begin with the discussion we had with the night clerk and some of the strange occurrences he experienced. On camera, because I watch sitting watch the cameras, I see a lady dressed in that attire of the day standing at the bottom of the stairs looking down Franklin. Uh -huh. Seeing the same person standing in the middle of the lobby. That's the first one I ever saw here. When and you say, was she like opaque? Was she translucent? Like what? Um, what? On camera, it looks like a person, mm -hmm. a normal person. It actually made me double do this bit. But only on camera. It only shows up on camera. The front door has opened and closed, opened and closed, opened and closed, opened and closed for about 20 minutes one night. Until I went, yeah, let's go to bed. And then it stopped doing it. The more I talk about it, these lights will start to flicker right here. Um, when I go into her room, I feel hands, I literally feel hands pushing me out. That was spooky and it really freaked me out. And I guess if it wasn't spooky, it wouldn't be fun, but I don't like fun. Fun is overrated. Now we're going to explore room 105 where Janis Joplin spent her last days and last day. We had a friend of ours who is also a medium and she read the room. And what's really great about this room is the closet that serves as a memorial and celebration to Janis. And with that, room 105. Why am I doing that? It's not doing anything, but I feel... Mm. We are in the kitchen. This is probably a wonderful place to shoot up if this is where you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Yeah, it, I mean, come on. I, I can yeah. feel. I mean, feel why it? wouldn't you shoot up here? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it clean? Is it like? Is there like a sense of like cleanliness? That easy yeah. to clean up? Yeah. Or just like the space. But like after you inject heroin, it's usually like you'll yeah. go down. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I just. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Love it. Why did you wink when you said I haven't done heroin? I don't understand. <laughs> because it. when I was fourteen, I did salvia. <laughs> <laughs> and that's oh, get her out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so I have my own experience. I'll yeah. yeah. here immediately. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, like I'm not, I'm not getting too much, except maybe like a feeling of like some fluorescence or yeah. something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So I know that she died between like a bed and a dresser, but I don't know where exactly that was in the room. And I'm not. I think she was clutching, like she had change in her hand from uh, a cigarette machine. Oh, from really? what I, Yeah, and she still had the change in her hand from that. Ooh, that freaks me out. <laughs> yeah, that's a gnarly detail. Yeah, and I know that she was like face down. Overdose deaths are so sad because that person did not usually need to die. Yeah, that's like very tragic. Um. Mm, Maybe feeling a little sick to my stomach. Um, but nothing too crazy or anything. But the, I feel like the most I felt was in that room over there. We don't have to go there yet. Where were you? Yeah, where were you? Tell us. I'm not even moving the camera, it's moving by itself, so. <laughs> it's a Ouija board of cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I like your soundtrack. <laughs> Hey, where's the Bible? The Bible was just in there. <laughs> was it? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> like, 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 like that, that's the first thing I check. Really? No. It's kind of the first thing I check. Whoever has Brooklyn in this rich. Because <laughs> the shape of the, I mean, the shape of the room probably hasn't changed. You know no, what I mean? Hasn't. So, like, that probably is intact, I guess, right? Yeah. Some bad feelings. Worse than the other side? Yeah, but I don't know. It could have been either side. I mean, the whole thing, you know, yeah. if you're standing in the spot and like you feel cold, then. These know. are where the beds would be, regardless, I'm, I'm assuming, by the layout. Yeah. Unless it was just one bed over here, like here, maybe? Yeah, I don't know, because I, I really felt stuff over there. Huh. So who knows? Um, but it's just more just like a stab of pain. <laughs> The entrance is definitely when I came in. That's when I started feeling like the not being able to breathe. Ooh, God, that gives me, I don't know why. <laughs> that closet gives me the creeps. Okay, it's your shit, right? Yep, it's just my, not your stuff. It's my haunted closet. sneakers. <laughs> well, it's a big closet. Yeah. yeah, there's like three of them. Yeah. This feels very old Hollywood to have these like built-in, like shitty built-in closets that are just weirdly massive for no yeah. we have these, reason. Ah, God. We have these in my um, apartment for no reason either. I don't know why. I just like, I think you're right. Just like touching the old stuff helps you feel things more. Cause like this wood hasn't changed. I don't know. Popcorn ceilings? Where are yeah. they from? Oh yeah. Nothing to be up here. Um, I'm sure this probably looks like an old school. Yeah, this is probably old too. Um, this room, I don't know what happened here, but it doesn't feel good. Um, maybe it could be from all the energy that's yeah. right here. Because mm -hmm. um, you know, I probably I'm I'm assuming, like, I don't know anything about this, but people are putting a lot of they came here to kind of and then put their like thoughts or whatever and all kind of everyone it was right here so there's got to be like collective oh, yeah. energy right there um, is yeah so like a lot of times when i get these feelings it's like i know that there was like a certain sort of energy there huh. you know and energy is neither created nor destroyed it just goes somewhere and that somewhere is my gastrointestinal tract <laughs> uh -huh. yes. and my lungs Oof. Somebody drew a penis. Come hold on, on, hold on. Get in there, Jason. Somebody drew another Girl. penis is what she said. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get and my then penis. there's the pearl. I know that was her nickname. Yeah. Somebody wrote naked with an I. Huh. But maybe that's their, just their street name. <laughs> naked. This definitely has a certain smell, too. Mm -hmm. You smell that? It's like spicy. Yeah. What if you pushed on one of these panels and then it was a secret doorway? <laughs> I would, I would die of happiness. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! So they basically they wrote on walls and then they put up the glass. That's yeah. Nice. Well, and ultimately, it's like a mausoleum, kind of in a yeah, way. Yeah, it? it is. It's like a regular hotel room, and then there's this weird aspect of like R.I.P. R.I.P. But that's the only aspect of it. It's it's not 
transformed into like the Janice room. There's no like poster yeah, of her. Okay. It's only about her death mm -hmm. here. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's bound to reflect something. And it's also like in this closet. It's not like on the wall. It's mm -hmm. like in a weird closet. So something about it just seems odd that this is the Janice Joplin room. But that other than that and this, like that's the only thing that reflects that. It's an odd it's a, Yeah, I know, know what you mean. It's an odd thing. When I go in the bathroom and not just to take a poop. No, okay. But also that <laughs> well, can we film that? I mean that's be bonus footage for a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get five bucks for that, right? <laughs> the yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, feathers, yeah, that's uh I mean struggling with addiction is like a <laughs> Super hard thing. I mean, there's plenty of places to play Seven Minutes in Heaven. Just saying. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, I love the shower. This is like my shower at home. <laughs> it is. It's got some weird feelings, of, like lung feelings in here. I mean, imagine if somebody did drugs in here once. Oh, yeah. Like a course. cigarette or like some trans fats or something yeah. like that. That's, that's drugs, right? Yeah, definitely. A clove? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely feel like I had a very somber feeling in here. Like. From the bathtub in general or just the, the room in general? I don't know why I'm drawn to the bathtub, that's for sure. But like a reflection, like a bad reflection. Yeah. I'm sure somebody has, has laid in here and thought about something, you know? Like. Yeah. Despair or low. Yeah, and I feel that I definitely feel somber, like sad. Mm -hmm. Like crying sad. Mm -hmm. I don't cry, so. That's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot. Or a dog commercial. Oh. Yeah, definitely that sounds weird. It's freaking me out. Are you gonna get in it? <laughs> do I have to get in? You do, you don't do no, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. We didn't make you do this. Yeah, but it's yeah. cool that you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can I take a picture of you standing in the bathroom? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Make yeah. a this is definitely some sort of snapshot of despair. Like looking at, I don't know, like I can imagine Janice or whoever laying here and feeling like very heavily sad and maybe even unloved in a way. Yeah, this is like freaking me out. A lot of like chilling now in yeah. her, trying to. Yeah. There you go. Oh, did you get your picture? Yeah. Oh, good. Ooh, that was in here. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, have you ever been in a hotel with the old hair dryers? Oh my it? god, yeah. Oh my god, those, those are scarier than those. <laughs> um, you were first. <laughs> would you mind if I had like a little like alone time in here? Yeah, Not absolutely. Or I don't. Yeah, no, I don't mind. We'll be back and then. Uh, Just Take two as much minutes. time as you need. No, just yeah. two minutes. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back in after you were alone with the room. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you um, made a friend, I see. <laughs> I do. So I went back to this corner and I was standing here and I just felt a lot of sadness like uh like i started tearing up like actually tearing up um i stood here for a while and i went over here started to feel a little sick went over there like to the other side i didn't really feel too much then i went in the kitchen and really started to feel like very like like I was up against here, started feeling very angry. Mm -hmm. um, and so, whereas before you weren't really no, getting I much. No, I felt that like going up against here yeah. kind of feeling. Like this would be a great place to do heroin. 
Um, but I don't know if she did or anything. I, but I definitely felt some anger. And then I went and I grabbed my friend Southern Comfort and just took a sniff. Mm -hmm. And it is absolutely foul. But oh yeah. Yeah, that that corner was really the. I don't know if she died in a corner, but I think she died on this side of the um, hotel. Um, and I definitely felt that sadness. But I don't know the sequence of events or anything, but. Thank you. Amazing. Do you think that there's any, like, do you feel like what you're feeling is her, or is it like so many experiences here compounded? Because like, I imagine maybe even people that were like, you know, when you kind of, uh, you look up to people that are tragic, you kind of follow in their kind of, like, where they've gone, and to feel that, you know, going to like, a, like Jim Morrison's grave site, I'm sure, has a yeah. lot of stuff. So you think maybe there's also a little bit of that, too? Yeah, like, I mean, people who have addictions or, you know, have that sort of lonely life mm -hmm. or what have you. To be near other people that they yeah. look up to that have also been lonely, like, oh, I, you know, yeah. your songs mean something to me or, yeah, you know, sure yeah. Yeah, they've left their energy here. Yeah. You know? yeah. So how do you tap into, like, her energy or is it just... It just, like, I felt it just a couple times, yeah. you know. Um, mostly having this bottle in my hand and looking out at the street. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you put that right in the middle of the table, like kind of like like it was not. Do that. You didn't put that. Did I do that? <laughs> I, did that. I you thought you did that. Absentmindedly. <laughs> I put it in the center of the table. Stop it. I've been the one the whole time. <laughs> but um, and another thing was that tub. Yeah. Just sitting there. Feeling. Not like sorry for myself. Just. Kind of the tub and the corner are kind of close to each other too, you know, sort of, right? Yeah, yeah. in that same energy feel yeah. like And like, I don't know the technical terms or anything. I didn't study this. Yeah. What it's did you study at UW Madison? <laughs> <With the Badgers. laughs> oh, I studied communication arts, like oh, radio yeah, film. Arts, baby. Vilas much? Oh yeah, Vilas. Uh, nasty, oh, nasty yeah. building. Um, <laughs> to screenwriting, cool. which I don't use, and then. Um, Creative writing, get English creative. Yeah, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting a yeah. resume right now. Just throw your IMDb in there, and then we're good. I did creative writing. I did, creative writing. I did a little bit of con arts, but I was an art major. Oh, was cool. BFA in illustration. Damn, that's also amazing. don't use that. So yeah, I mean, I do write, but not like my first screenplay was trash. <laughs> my, I remember oh, my like, professor reading it, being like, okay. "Why?" <laughs> he literally was like, why? Mm -hmm. For a lot of the choices that I made. <laughs> so Aaron's also feeling that. I'm also yeah. feeling that. Yeah. Yeah. Bad about to myself. Our shared college experience. No, but like the thing is, is I came in here, I'm not like a sad person. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm typically, I would say, in like a good mood. I just get like very much into my work or whatever. I get like annoyed at work. But you're not like a depressed person. I'm not a depressed not person. Like a yeah. yeah. And like, um, my life is very stable. I have a great job, boyfriend, a dog. Um, <laughs> Sick. Really wonderful. You that? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love her so much. I'm her mom. Um, and like, really great friends like Haley. And a lot of people from um, Chicago who moved out here with me. So I'm like cool. a stable person. I've been in Chicago a little bit before you came here. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I guess what you're saying is you're not someone who's just like, it's it's not just Looking. a, everything's a trigger for yeah, you no, no, to no. be whatever. So it's coming from a place of like, oh, this is like hitting oh, me pretty hard. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you were to tell me, oh, this is actually room 104 and she didn't die here, I'd be like, well, that's fucked up because there's definitely some bad yeah. energy in here. Um, and also be kind of pissed. Yeah. You guys let me out so much. <laughs> but, um, Thank you for checking out this video. If you want to check out the three-part special on Ghost Town about Janis Joplin, you can find it in the description below. And if there's someplace in Los Angeles you think I should check out, let me know in the comment section below. All right, I'm off to not have fun.